Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hi everyone, Sue here at 1A Auto. And today in this video, we're going to be working on this 2008 Subaru Outback. I'm going to show you how to replace your front exhaust cross pipe with the front converter in it. So if you need this part or any other part for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. I've got to disconnect the O2 sensor, so I'm just going to get the air vent dam out of the way so we have a better visual. And there's your two O2 sensor connectors. So this is the actual orange one, the one in the front. Subaru calls a air fuel ratio sensor. So I'll squeeze that tab and take it off. And then here's the downstream O2 sensor. Push down on this tab and uh, pull it off. I have a wire tie because the clip is broken. So I'm going to have to just cut that wire tie. So with an angled pair of pliers from up here, I'm just going to squeeze these tabs down and push that through. Raise and support your vehicle with jack and jack stands or two post lift. So I'm going to disconnect where the front cross pipe connects to the mid pipe. Now this pipe has been changed before, so if you still have the factory, you're going to have those shields everywhere. So it's your same size bolts that you're going to need and use. So first thing I'm going to do is take down these three lock nuts. And this is a 17 millimeter. And loosen them all up. So now I'm going to loosen up the nuts on both sides of the manifold. It's a 14 millimeter socket. There's six nuts total, three per head. You're just going to be careful if uh, these haven't been done recently on your car, if you've never had it down. Sometimes the studs will come out with the nut because of the rust. So um, pre you know, we prepare yourself by spraying everything down the best you can. And if the stud does come out, that's fine. You can reuse it if you have to. Uh, just t look at the threads when it comes down. Make sure there's no aluminum in the threads because then that means the head has been stripped. And uh, that's, not, that's not good. You got to take care of that before you put it back together. And I'm going to loosen up the other side. I'm just going to loosen it with my half inch drive and then I'll probably move over to the 3 8 You can see that the exhaust is going to want to come down, so keep an eye on it. If you have to leave one of the, the last nut in partially threaded, you get your hands ready to take it down by hand so it doesn't fall. Okay, here we go. There you go. Now pay attention to your O2 sensors because you don't want to, you don't want to hit those. You don't want them to tap on anything. They're very sensitive. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect the O2 sensors. Has an O2 sensor socket. And that would be the downstream O2 sensor. And this would be the upstream or the air fuel ratio sensor. So here is our new crossover converter pipe for an 08 Subaru from 1A Auto. And here is the manufacturer's design. 
They're identical underneath. This just has the shields still on it. It's got both flex, flex pipes on the longest pipe, and it's got the upstream and the downstream O2 sensor holes. All three mounting bolts. If you need this part or any other part for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. Snug that right in. And you take your socket and snug it up. Just line the threads up. Goes in nice and smooth. I'll we'll take a O2 sensor socket, slide it over. Just so you feel a gasket on that O2 sensor seat. You feel it crush. It's a crush gasket. There we go. I'm going to install the studs that came with the converter, the Y pipe converter, and they go on the flange part that meets the mid pipe. I'm going to just tighten them down with my hand and then I will get a stud installer tool and I will tighten these down. Okay, so now that these are in finger tight, see the three rollers in there? That is for a stud removal or stud tightening. And in this case, I'm going to tighten up these studs. And it doesn't round or flatten off the threads. It just, it might round them off, but the, it never, I've never stripped a nut or a bolt, shall I say. So they're, they're gonna bottom out right at where the spacer is. Like that. I'm gonna tighten all three down. Now I can put the gasket on. See how it seats. I'm going to put the ribbed ear side towards the front pipe, pipe section. And it comes with three locking nuts. Okay, let's go install it. So now before we put the cross pipe back up, we're going to change the gaskets. So now I'm going to install my new exhaust manifold gaskets. And the reason I do that, even though they looked pretty good, the other ones, um, this is not something you want to do again and again because these studs, every time you take a bolt off of them, you could be causing more engine damage because they are directly in the head. And Subarus are kind of notorious for that. So you don't want to mess with it as much as possible. So now I'm going to put this front pipe up. I'm going to connect it to the front pipe first. Make sure I don't pinch that gasket. Line those bolts up. There we go. And that's not going to go anywhere, but I'm going to put the three nuts on first, just hand tight. These are the nuts that are a 17 millimeter socket. So now I'm going to line it up with the studs in the head. I think I'm going to put the two of the exhaust nuts on this side so it doesn't pop off again because um, I think I have to manipulate this pipe on that side. I'm just going to make sure that all my cables here are out of the way too. But that's why the flex pipes are there because you can just get a pry bar and flex it up into spot. There we go. I'm going to start all the nuts by hand. So now I'm going to hand tighten the nuts on the manifold studs and that's 14 millimeter. I'm not going to over tighten because I don't want to strip those bolts, nuts and studs to the aluminum mid, the aluminum heads. I like to start on the inner one and then work my way to the out side too. And it's it's all about feel. Feeling it. Make sure I don't over tighten it, strip it, or break it. So once they're flush, I'm gonna go make a second pass. 
and do an eighth of a turn. That feels good. So now I'm just gonna tighten up these last three lock nuts on the front manifold pipe to mid pipe. And that's a 17 millimeter socket. I use a swivel so that I can get to this top one easy. That's got a compressed gasket in there. You can actually hear it as you really tighten these nuts down on the studs. You hear the gasket collapsing. Just give it one more quick check. ready to bring these on up to the engine compartment and attach them to the connectors. I'm just going to fish them up there so I can grab them when I'm up there. Perfect. I'm going to lower the vehicle. So now I've lowered my vehicle and I'm going to grab my air fuel ratio sensor. This still has a clip in it and that's going to go right in that spot with that bracket locks into place. I'm going to line up my clips, slide that in, make sure I hear it click. Now I'm going to grab the downstream O2 sensor, bring it up to the connector, and they're not interchangeable, so you can't mess those up. There we go. Now I'm just going to get a wire tie, and I'm going to wire tie that downstream wire to that bracket. I just want it snug. I'm not going to rank down on that. And I'll take the cutters and cut that extra. Let me just try and get that. Put the air damper back in. Guide that in the spot of the air box. Bring it over to the tool mounting holes and push down on the thumb tabs. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.